Lagos residents have voted in elections to pick the next chairman and councillors of its 57 local government areas and local council development areas. But the turnout of voters has been anything but impressive. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku reports. Voting was expected to begin at 8 a.m. and end at 3 p.m. across Lagos State with a curfew already in place. And this was what a Jawi State polling unit was like at Isolo early in the morning. Voting was yet to start even with people already on the queue at polling unit 009. The presiding officer was on a phone call and we tried to find out what the challenge was. The card reader, the password is rejecting the card reader, so which they are coming to rectify right now. But so far so good. The election has been peaceful. Um, people are really behaving. From Ajawa State, we headed to Festag, which was just as peaceful. Ade Dayo Adesoye, PDP chairmanship candidate, Amowo Odofin, cast his vote. I'm impressed with this massive turnout. As you can see, people are all over ensuring that they come out to exercise their rights as citizens of Amuo. Let's all come out to exercise our rights. It is our right. One man, one vote. Our next port of call was Ikeja. The polling unit here had few voters. One of them, one on Adeni Yujon Street, was where the PDP state chairman cast his vote. He's displeased with the low turnout. This is very sad. If you look at it, you can put to the camera right there. I'm the only one that has voted here today, you know, and that shows the level of trust, the level of um, anarchy that is going on inside the people in a democratic setting when the people don't believe in a process. There will be a day that they will they will show their anger somehow. He also had this to say to his political counterpart. Take this opportunity to just plead with we politicians, you know, on both sides of the divide, whether PDP, whether APC, that the people are the ones that matter, the youths are the ones that matter. It's not us anymore. There were diverse opinions here at Alausa Ward F bullying units. People are not coming out to vote. I don't know the reason why. For this particular ward, it's, the turnout is quite impressive. I, can, I could see many people here in the morning before coming to cast my own vote. We next headed to Lagos Island for more observation. And here at Wahab for Lawiyo Junior High School Osborne polling unit, the complaint was about a missing polling unit. We've gone there, sort of two unit... Uh, there, we met one. Here again, instead of two, we met one. And we are asking why, where is the other one? Because we know that's the, is, is the way they rig election. The two units is supposed to be on 14 points, but we only saw one. The other side and this one, and we are wondering what is happening, who is in charge? And there's no officer, senior officer from La that we can inquire from. And that's the problem. So if this can, can happen here, then what is granted that the election is free and fair? Fifteen political parties are registered for the election according to the Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.